Hello, hello, and hello to all of my Capricorns. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your reading for the 28th of May through the 28th of June. We are coming up on a full moon in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, which is the largest planet. It's the planet of growth and opportunity, but it's also the planet of good fortune, blessings, enthusiasm, zest for life, opportunities, abundance, horizons, possibilities, confidence, hubris, adventure, ethics, morals. So you may start feeling a lot luckier moving forward. It's a lot of things that's happening in the universe. So I want to make sure we cover them all here and also get ready to jot down some questions that's going to help prepare you for this full moon coming up. On the 3rd slash 4th of June. First card leading the deck is the 7 of Wands. I'm talking to you if you have Capricorn anywhere in your chart. Not just your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Also if Capricorn, if you're on the cusp of Aquarius or Sagittarius. Or if Capricorn is your MC or IC. First card leading the deck is the 7 of, out of the deck is the 7 of Wands. The source really wants somebody to really sit down. Really sit down and think about how you want to proceed in your life. Like, what do you want your life to look like? Sagittarius, the symbol is the archer. It's half man, it's half man and half horse, right? Shooting an arrow towards the skies. And so this is where a person is saying, you know what? I'm going to start dreaming bigger. I'm going to really start dreaming bigger. And I, I'm going to have to develop a, I don't really care what people have said about me you know, people that I left behind, I'm still standing. I'm still standing. Despite this car, usually the person is lying down with 10 swords in them, but this is you. You're still standing. Um, despite what was said about you behind your back, despite what was said to your face, despite you having to, you're healing, you've, you've experienced healing the loss of loved ones and people being insensitive to that loss of relationships and people being insensitive sources is saying it's time for you to really sit down and defend your decision to move on without some people without coming across as defensive just stand up and tell some people the people that will the people that love you have a conversation with them i love you but i think i got it from here they'll say you know what i'm sending you great prayers because you have a lot of ancestors around you helping you and you're moving towards financial independence only you know what you need to do to move towards financial independence. But I also see you operating in childlike faith. These are the same people, right? And so this is, you know, the same dog, same person. I see you moving on in childlike faith. It's okay to release some people. It really is okay. That's what Source is trying to teach you is that you've gone through so much. Um, and that it's time for you to start moving forward and just, you know, doing some things, standing on your own. Here we have the page of wands. We also have the seven of pentacles. It's harvest time for somebody. There's going to be some people you can't take with you. That's, that's the, that's the sacrifice that will weigh your scales down. That's like, um, and I've said this a lot of times in you guys' videos, it, it's harvest time for you. Your money is starting to grow. Not everybody is going to be, they're not. They're not growing at the same pace. And you don't want to learn the hard way. You don't want to learn the hard way by getting a lawsuit against you or trust somebody trying to set you up or just even worse, horrible things happen. And now your family's, it's just craziness. Like I said before, Source is giving somebody some time to make some decisions, to move on from some things. And clear messages are coming through. As we get closer and closer to the full moon, those messages become clearer and clearer because full moon fully illuminates your feelings, subconscious habits, your mood, your emotions, your need for um, a big celestial hug, you know, so those become even more intense. So if you're starting to feel like I'm starting to remember my dreams, don't forget to journal those dreams. So here we have the page and wand. Somebody's going to feel a lot happier when you start using the visualization techniques and actually putting action behind it. I visualize myself living in such and such type of house on in such and such neighborhood, a zip code or whatever, and start putting action behind it. I'm going to drive through the neighborhood. I'm not going to just, just envision it and just sit there and say, well, I can't afford it. When I look at my, my bank account, I really can't afford it. I'm going to drive through the neighborhood. I'm starting to speak some things into existence. I'm, I'm getting to know the neighborhood. What kind of stores are around here? How, how are the people dressing? How are, you know, if it's a certain job, whatever it is you envision for your life, somebody's going to have to start really seeing it. And, but also your spirit is going to show you who you can bring with you and who you can't bring with you. Here we have the three of cups, stay in a posture of gratitude for dreams and being able to dream bigger. 
Stay in a posture of gratitude. Also, source is trying to tell you that there's two energies in particular um, that you cannot trust. They always plot and planning and scheming. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Um, that you're going to have to leave behind. Something from your past is trying to call somebody backwards, but it's, it's, it's God's way of saying, are you going to listen to my voice or are you going to listen to the voices of the people that have proven to not support you? You know, you're putting up Instagram posts or on social media, or whatever. You don't see one like, no comments, no nothing, but they claim to be your friends. They haven't bought one book, haven't supported one show of yours. They haven't done anything to really support you. Sources like, start paying attention to those energies. They're not that busy. How long does it take? Uh, do you see them active on their social media page? How long does it take to click and look at yours and like your post? You know, that's also helping the algorithms. That's what somebody's like. It's like somebody doesn't want to see it. You support, you survived a lot of things. And so source is going to continue exposing energies around you until, you know, you can either say, you know, gosh, I can't believe it. Or God, thank you for showing me. I, I'm a, I may have to move on, you know, my feelings hurt or ego bruised or licking my wounds, but I'm on the other side. Now I know. Now I know. That number seven, seven of swords, also seven of pentacles here. That number seven and the seven of wands. The number seven is God's way of like, it's like a, it's lightning bolt instincts, like lightning bolt insights and instincts. It's like God is trying to piece everything together for you. God is trying to piece things together for your ideas. That's why God is saying, sit down and envision what, what kind of life do you want? Source is also trying to piece together the energies in your life that you absolutely cannot trust. Their energies are so low frequency. They all, they just grind me. That's the best word I can use to use to describe them. They're low vibrational and they're very grimy. They'll get you caught up into some stuff that you've been working so hard for to move towards your money growing, financial independence. You've been working hard at maturing. You've been taking opportunities on. Don't take an opportunity with them to go backwards, to get you into some stuff. To get you into some stuff. Um, and then also, like I said, you got the six and three of cups here. So somebody's going to have to just operate in childlike faith. This is me, myself, and I right here. Me, myself, and I. I I'm going I'm to look up at the stars. I'm saying, you know what, source? I'm, it's time for me to dream bigger. It's time for me to shoot for the stars. It's time for me to start speaking into some existence, some things that I really, really want. It's time for me to leave behind. If you want a certain type of love in your life, speak into an existence. That's the power of that's the power of the tongue. The power of the tongue. But it's two energies in particular. So it's just saying you're gonna be you're gonna be moving on from those energies. It's yep. Here we have the okay, six of swords, the ace of cups, the ten of swords, the eight of pentacles, the emperor card, and also the high priestess. Mm-hmm. High priestess energy. Your intuition has been telling you some things about some energies. And your intuition has been saying, see, this is normally how to, this is one of the cards that had a 10 of swords look. See how this person has all of these wounds in their back? All of the, a lot of stuff has been said about you behind your back. And instead of you overthinking, I wonder what they're saying. Who cares what they're saying? It's a part of your past. You want to use that thinking and that good heart of yours to move forward. To invest in some new relationships. Okay, God, what did I learn about myself interacting with certain types of people? Did they give me an opportunity to grieve loved one's death? Did they give me an opportunity to, you know, you know, hug up on loved ones that's a part of my life, that's a part of my circle? Or were they constantly competing? Were they constantly keeping some stuff going? Like, pay attention to all of that, right? Instead of, oh, I've known this person for a number of years or they're going through... Put yourselves first, Capricorn. That's what Source is trying to tell you is that here we have the Six of Swords. I do see somebody finally moving on from something, leaving the disappointments behind and unapologetically enjoying multiple streams of income. You got the Seven, Eight, and Nine of Pentacles here. All of this is money. All of this is security. All of it is stability. All of it is um, vitality. All of it is loyalty. All of it is. So that's what sources like. I'm sending you so much information. You're already a magnetic sign, but I'm sending you a lot of information about what's being said about you behind your back. So remember, you all deal with your, your energy deals with the um, physical existence of things, right? Somebody could have been smelling somebody smoking a lot of stuff, you know, like smoking a lot of, you know, a lot of places um, in a lot of a lot of states in the United States have already 
approve the you know out op, op, you know open use of marijuana. And so sources saying you deal with the physical existence of a thing. There are some people sitting around smoking, getting high, talking negatively about you, plotting and planning. So we can be crystal clear about what's being said, you know, still talking negatively, still on that low vibration energy. Here we have the Ace of Cups. Um, and even if you, because I know I also have uh, subscribers outside of the United States, but there's some people that's using some kind of substances that's getting that's getting high. So in their mind, it's like, what's the, um, um, a lot of times you'll see in like movies where you're talking about some kind of people are plot, plotting and planning violence or something. They want to be out of their mind. They don't want to think clearly because they know they're, they're dead wrong. Right. And so they have to be on some kind of substance to say, oh, I wasn't in my right mind. I didn't know what I was doing or somebody else told me such and such and such and such. Sources of saying, stop going back to places that God delivered you from. Protect your creativity. Protect your, protect your water. Protect your water. It doesn't matter who it is. Doesn't matter who it is at all. If you tell a person that, hey, when I was hurting or I was feeling at my lowest point and you, you came across it insensitive and they don't immediately apologize. If they immediately go into, you know, well, you did this to me or you're just being super sensitive or such and such and such and such, you need to cut that person off immediately. You need to cut that person off immediately. There shouldn't even be any other conversation about it. Because if, we, if you are letting that kind of energy into your world that's that insensitive, you can never show a weakness around that type of person because... That's their that that would be their type their time to pray on you, not pray for you. They'll use that as praying on you. So somebody has some energies around them that they see that you you have the love and support from certain family members and friends. They see they see that you have a safety net. Like your safety net is not always like millions of dollars in the bank. Your safety net is just a you can do it, Capricorn. Keep on going. We're rooting for you. They see that safety net. They see the security, the stability around you, and they don't have that. Sources like you got to know when to leave those energies behind. So I do see, you know, I do see somebody. Like I said before, this is part of the growth. Here we have the Eight of Cups. We have the coexist. Mm -hmm, the Ten of Swords. I'm telling. The Eight of Swords. The Two of Swords. We also have La Luna. Yep, two people definitely from your past that somebody just does not want to see the truth. Somebody got on blindfolds. Somebody's in denial. If you don't know who they are, go straight to Source. Source shows me. I don't care how heartbreaking it is, show me. But they want you to coexist. They want you to coexist in their world. They, on one hand, it, it's so strange, um, Capricorn, because on one hand, they want to say, oh, yeah, this is like my brother or sister. It could be, like I said, it could be, for some of you all, it, it started in your own family. Let me slow this down and let me, let me kind of walk somebody through this. So right now, Pluto is retrograde Capricorn. And so Pluto is a generational planet. It's the planet of death rebirth. It represents power and transformation, right? So if you grew up in a family where, let's say, for instance, you grew up in a family where people talk negatively about your parents. It could have been their siblings. It could have been their own parents talking negatively, like keeping a bunch of chaos and drama in the family, right? And you know how I always say Capricorns, so well, you all come through, you all are already wise. A lot of Capricorns, I would say for almost probably all of you all have already been here before coming through as, a, as an ancestor in a baby's body. And people are telling you to stay in a child's place. So some of your parents may have been telling you along the way, you know, they may not have let you spend a night at certain people's houses. They may not have let you be around certain relatives because they're tr they were trying to break generational cycles, chains and curses and also deal with, OK, if I take my child or children away from certain people, I'm doing this on my own. And it, it, I, 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 I'm scared like they could have been nervous, like, OK, I, I don't have the support of my own family and I kind of got to do this on my own. However, they did it. They were telling you in their own way, I'm trying to become self-sufficient and get you away from this. Right. But if that's something that you saw, 
that could have planted a seed at your root from your between the ages of zero and seven that you're an overthinker, an overgiver when it comes to operating in faith and source. So you may keep going back to situations until you have to go through almost identically what your parents went through when it came to them breaking off or closing out cycles. Hopefully that makes sense to somebody. I don't know who that was for. And, and like I said before, that's why I always tell people, extend yourself and your parents great. Like extend everybody grace. Like, you know what? I forgive whomever for whatever. I may not have understood what was happening, but now things are starting to make sense. So if you have parents that are telling you, hey, you know, don't trust that kind of energy. Like don't go back to such and such and such. And you, you, you just feel like I'm just drawn. It's like when, when you tell kids don't touch such and such and they just, it becomes even more appealing. So now I'm even more drawn back into something really bad happens. Source is saying, stay in your light, and that's where everything is going to be exposed. On one hand, when I look at your cards and the energy that I'm picking up, uh, Capricorn, is that somebody wants to have this life where the financial independence, but somebody is afraid of having this life without certain people, um, or have been afraid to have this life without certain people. We have almost 9 billion people on the planet. Those people from your past want to coexist, but I'm telling you, they do not view your definitions of stability, vitality, loyalty, prosperity, patience, tenacity, and career success is so different from theirs. They will literally drag you down into a low frequency with them. And you thinking, okay, oh, this is my friend. We grew up with, together and such and such. And they would never do such and such until something happens that your parents can't get you out of. That's all I'm going to say. That your parents can't get you out of or, or the people that you love because now you belong to an organization. So here we have the Ten of Swords and also the Eight of Swords. So yeah, some people are plotting and planning. They plotting and planning. They have stood around. See how this person right here? And it's a lot of them. See how this person right here is lying down? See, usually this is how the card looks. But remember, we started out with this one right here. You're still standing despite all the stuff you left behind, all the sores that was, you know, talked about you and you pulled all the sores out. But this is how it started. You were lying down, depressed, couldn't get out of the bed, couldn't move. Things weren't happening for you and so on and so forth. So, yes, yeah, some people from your past, when I say until you can't get out some things, I'm talking about this right here. Where they can't help you, your family can't help you because you now you're caught up in some stuff. I'm telling you, somebody, I don't know who, I don't know who I'm talking to, but you don't want to find out the hard way when everybody, you got all of these energies around you trying to tell you again, if, if this doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't resonate with you. But somebody is giving way too much thought to something from your past because that energy wants you to coexist and... The jealousy is real. The jealousy is very, very real from somebody's past. The jealousy is real. Because all I'm sitting around, see, when, I, when I'm reading the cards, and I don't, well, I, didn't, I don't really need the cards to see what I'm seeing in the, the, the spirit realm, but I'm, looking, I'm using the cards to show you all. What I'm seeing is that a lot of people, there's something different on your life. Uh, Capricorn, you came through to break generational cycles, chains, and curses, and so did they. But you can, you can, you know the saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink it. You have been led to your water, and you've been drinking your water. Like your creativity is your water, your happiness, your joy. It's like Source led you out of something. Source moved you on from something, like delivered you from something, brought you into a light. Not for you to jump back down into the abyss, like jump back into darkness and jump back into a state of confusion, all because you feel like, okay, people are going to show me love when God is saying to you, I'm trying to make you financially independent. This is what you prayed for. This is what your ancestors have been working for. You can't fit in when you were created to stand out. Here we have the Ten of Coins, the High Priestess, the Star Card, the Five of Swords, the Ten of Swords again, and we have the Ace of Coins. Like I said, somebody has been working real hard 
Nobody, nobody, there was no silver spoon. You weren't, somebody wasn't born with a silver spoon. High Priestess is it, letting me know that you're highly gifted, but you got somebody in your bloodline that's also highly spiritually gifted as well. Your intuition is on point. When I when I tell you that the the jitters, the the night sweats, the smelling of, you know, um, scents coming through the the air, God is trying to tell somebody that there's some people that's sitting around that's like really plotting and planning. And the sad thing about it is like an initiation process for somebody. Like we have got to recruit Aquarius. We got to recruit. Excuse me, Aquarius. Some of you all are on the cut. When I say Aquarius, I know this is Capricorn's reading, but like on the cusp of Aquarius, on the cusp of Sagittarius, or if you're right in that, definitely, you know, I, I won't say definitely a Capricorn because they are also Capricorns as well. But source is saying to you, and the reason I said that is because I'm looking at this card right here, the star card. Source is saying to you, all of these swords right here, the majority of cards that came out in your deck is like God is trying to tell you times four. Stay away from your past. Stay away from some people that you left behind in the past that have talked negatively about you, not to your face. I mean, they may have acted like they were, you know, whatever. But those energies, like somebody just can't let some energies go. See how this person is hugging these two swords? That's your power and your intellect. It's like somebody's like, I just, I can't, for some reason, I, I need to see more. I don't, I don't really know what it is. God help me with what, it's like, it's not. So anyway, here we have the 10 of coins. This is what you're, you're moving towards legacy wealth. You're moving towards legacy wealth. You're moving towards legacy wealth. So that legacy wealth and also, like I said, the financial independence sources like protect your creativity, stay in your light. It's just safer to stay in your light. That way God can expose everything to you. God is exposing things to you. Somebody may have gone to see a psychic, um, you know, and the person is trying to tell you, listen to your intuition, listen to your intuition. A lot of you all have come from like families where people have a lot of gifts, a lot of spiritual gifts. Um, Somebody, you know, like telepathy, psychic gifts, um, clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, clairvoyance, um, um, telekinesis, where people can actually um, move things, you know, just by looking at them. Not, people think that stuff is just on TV, but it actually happens. Um, this is what source is moving you towards the king of pentacles, which is the wealthiest card in the deck. But somebody is still looking for people's approval. When God has already approved you, I'm telling you, your ancestors have really put in some serious work for you to be very, very wealthy. You don't need the approval of human beings here on earth, especially ones who have shown you they're into some stuff. Like, like it's an initiation process, like it's like somebody was in a gang or something. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like somebody is trying to initiate, like put you in a situation because they think you're just that naive and you're too smart for this. Here we have the um, four of clubs. Um, I do see somebody feeling like, you know, once once we get closer and closer to the full moon and these downloads become stronger and stronger because you got a lot of ancestors around you steadily trying to get messages through to you all to stay away from these energies and energies that's like them. Anybody that's even connected to them, stay away from those energies as, far, as much as you can. Um, and then we also have the, uh, the queen, the four and eight of spades. There's two energies in particular. Like I said, that would love to see you. They would love to see you in a controlled environment. Let me just put it that way. They would love to see you in that situation. So they would absolutely do something. But they, they are, they are, they are um, in cahoots with each other. We also have the, the queen of spades here. And so sit on your throne. This is in your quiet time. You all are an earth sign. Sit down somewhere. Go, go take a walk. Do some grounding or whatever. Do, sit down and recharge. Talk to God. Go hug a tree. And I'm serious when I say this, when I talk about hugging trees. Because through the trees, you'll hear your ancestors' voices telling you who they are. 
your ancestors will tell you. Maybe somebody needs to hear it from a loved one that they have been dreaming about or I sure do miss that person. I wish I can talk to them one last time. I wish I, you know, could could talk to them. I wish I could see them again. I wish I could maybe maybe that'll be better received for somebody. Because you got some foul people out here. They miserable and they want to see you miserable too. They don't want to see your business do well. They don't want to see you going further than they farther than they are in life. And somebody is still holding on to some energies. And anybody that's even connected to them. See, when you got people around you that's they're so self-absorbed and so distracting. Like even if now, let's say for instance, you moved away from certain places and you got people in your life right now. They're keeping you so distracted because they need all of your energy and your attention. So now you like, okay, well, I can't even think. I don't even have time to think. Somebody's going to have to develop some kind of a discipline where every single day is just time for you. Hop in your car, go drive for about an hour away somewhere. You know, just go sit down by yourself, think, turn your phone off, let whomever think whatever. But start disciplining yourself to spend time with Source because there's a lot of wealth in your cars. And Source is saying to you, you worked very hard to get to your legacy wealth, like to build your legacy um, you've worked very hard for financial independence to grow your money. You got a lot of information coming in so you can live the finer life. And also, like I said, the King of Pentacles, which is the wealthiest card in the deck. And then also we have the four of spades. So source is saying to you, um, get your rest, like rest your mind. Rest doesn't always mean sleep, but rest your mind. You know, develop some kind of discipline where you are, like I said before, you know, hopping in your car, hopping on your bike, going for a walk through your neighborhood, whatever, where you're just away. Like, just let everybody know, full stop. I need time for me. I need time to think things clearly. I need I need time to think things through. I need time to think things through. Because I can assure you, if somebody goes back to something that God has already delivered you from and you get caught up in some stuff... Then you'll find you you'll have learned the hard way exactly who those energies were, who they are. Here we have the six of wands, we have the seven of swords, we have the three of cups, we also have the six of swords, we have the five of swords, and also the two of pentacles. But what source is trying to help somebody build is what somebody is trying to what source is trying to help somebody to do is learn how to exist in a space where there's so much going on around you, you are still making clear decisions. You know, like very wealthy people. Very wealthy people, they can attend functions. They know when to leave. You know, they know when to take their vacations. They can have the life that they want without really slowing things down because they they carve out time for themselves. And I'm not just talking about financial wealth, like material wealth. I'm talking about wealthy, just like wealthy and whatever, wealthy and peace. Wealthy in joy, wealthy in stability, wealthy in security, not just financial, right? They know when to shut everything down and say, I need time for me. Unapologetically. That's what Source is trying to groom somebody for. It's like, I'm trying to groom you at this stage in your life to prepare yourself for wealth. So here we have the three of um, we have the three of cups. I do see somebody in a posture of gratitude and just deciding, hey, you know what? I already asked God for an exodus strategy out of something. God gave it to me. Five of swords came out twice. Like I said, it's several people. It's them and it's several people around them that, you know, um, and then we have the seven of swords came out twice. I'm telling you, just just low vibrational energy, six of swords, you know, six of um how did this come out here? But anyway, I do see you victoriously moving on. Six of Swords came out twice. Two energies in particular I see you moving on from. Two of Pentacles. Like I said before, before Source lets anybody fall into something, God may have to show you in a way that may break, crack your heart wide open for you to say, okay, now it makes perfect sense. And I didn't want to believe X, Y, and Z. But you don't have to let it get to that point if you pay attention to the signs around you, the dreams, the downloads the all the other messages the numbers that come across your path um if you see certain numbers like i said you see that sort of number seven a couple of times god what message are you trying to get to me for let me stop i see the number seven seven can come out of many different forms you can see a string of numbers and when you add them all up and you reduce it should reduce to the, if it reduces to the single number seven god is trying to get you a very clear message you see the number 11 in any form source is trying to get you to take some kind of action 
step through those two pillars or that string of pillars, step through, awaken, you know, have your, you're having an awakening. There's so many different things that numbers mean, you know, so many. So anyway, let's close it out. Let's go ahead and 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 close it out. Somebody is really, so yeah, look at the bigger picture here. Well, like I said, we got a full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture here. Anytime you need an exodus strategy out of something, even if you feel like, okay, I've signed a contract, you know, I've, I've said I was going to do X, Y, and Z, blah, 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 whatever. Always go straight to God. Give me an exodus strategy. The exodus strategy can even be where you're supposed to show up at a place and their car stalls and they can't show up or something, something happens in their lives and it blocks whatever their plot plan scheme or trap was. But you got four ten of swords out here for a reason. Source is like really trying to, you know, put a lot of ancestors around somebody because somebody is just in a, like somebody could have somebody in their life right now that, that requires so much of your energy and your attention. You could be so distracted right now um that you can't even see what's trying to re-enter your life so dream journal any kind of dreams that you all are having put it in your journal it doesn't need to make sense at that very moment or when i first woke up god this is the first thing i heard in my spirit like, oh, that thing jolted me up out of the bed. Like, what in the world was that? Who was saying that? Who was wishing that on my life? God, show me their faces. So I, it's, there's, no, there's no confusion. I need to know what it is. Again, only take what resonates with you. Only take what resonates with you because you're definitely moving towards a very wealthy lifestyle. And some people feel like if they're not getting it first before you, Capricorn, they don't want you to have it. And they'll do anything to stop it because they're miserable. 19, I am a pioneer. Independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and in work, and you aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life that you desire. Affirmation card, and let's close it out. Acceptance, yep. Affirmations for acceptance. I accept myself as I am because you're not looking for their acceptance and you're not looking for their approval. I accept what is without resistance. I have the power to choose my actions. I have the power to create change. I practice patience with myself. I am loved. I am not alone. I am at peace. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what other uh, oracle cards we have. Sacred waters. 35, which reduces to 8. Drunken by the swell of the sea, I can feel the blanket of her embrace. Unafraid of the presence releasing the cords, I call her in. I call her deeply within me. Right? So sacred waters, we're talking about somebody could be dealing with the sex demon that's keeping you so distracted and emotionally drained that you, you can't keep your eye on your, your life. Like, the number eight, 35 reduces to eight, like the um, a sex demon could be an incubus, which is a man or a succubus, a woman. But the, the um, and I do have information on my second channel. Um, it is called the, the uh, knowledge channel. The link is in the description. If you're around people who are literally sucking the water out of you, like you got to put so much emotion and energy into them that you feel dehydrated. And only it's like you got to go back to them for like a fix. I got to be up under this person. I got to be around this person. So it's just saying drink more water than you drink. Just period. Just keep drinking water. Go to a beach, a stream, a lake, a pond. You know, take a notepad with you. Write out all it so you can, so that water can refill. Just hearing the water splash against the rocks if you're at a beach or, or something. Hearing, letting it get into your ear gate and eye gate as you're pouring out through your ink pen or pencil, writing out whatever your thoughts are, just free writing, get all of that toxicity out of your spirit so that that water can um, flush out all that other stuff. Because that could be the reason why somebody is so tempted to go back to something as if I got I to gotta pull from all of these spaces 
because you got some energies around you that, like I said, and for some of you all, if you're not in a relationship with the person, the amount of water or emotions that you're pouring into something from your past could also keep you dehydrated. Drink more water. Take your spiritual showers, your spiritual baths, those kind of things so that your crystal clears. That water will also clear out your um, water is that... Uh, the energy of water also will attract the energy of money as well. If that's what you want to increase your money, it'll attract love. The things that uh, it'll, it'll uh, attract your creativity and fertility. You've been planting seeds for things that you want to grow. It'll That's what water also attracts those things too. Gratitude. Fill me with the gra with gratitude for you, for all you. I'm sorry. So fill me with the gratitude for all you, you meaning source, most high God, give. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. That's what I have for you, Capricorns. Thank you for joining me again. Um, here are your questions. Here are your questions for this full moon and Sagittarius. And make sure you're landing on the bright side of the moon where you feel more adventurous, optimistic, exuberant, open-minded, and sincere. And not on the dark side of the moon where you're feeling restless, extravagant, irresponsible, careless, uncommitted. Specifically as an earth sign, you combine a, a, a moon and uh, Sagittarius means that you combine common sense, practicality with a lofty creative outlook. So this is excellent for people who are in politics and people who are also in law. Um, and so um, here are your questions. You want to write them down? I can pin them to the top of the video for everybody else who's uh, tuning in to this. First question is, what is your heart yearning to learn and do? Second question is, where do you want to be in five to ten years? Third question is, what are the main challenges on your path to your envisioned future? Fourth question is, are there ways to solidify your foundation for taking off, perhaps saving money so that you can leave your job or learning a new skill? And then last but not least, are, are you on your path? Meaning your path, meaning by your birth chart, are you on your path? Like what sets you apart from all other Capricorns? Are you on your path? That's what I have for you and I'll see you on Monday. Bye.